Mark Raymundi from MMAfighting.com in Las Vegas, ahead of the UFC 235 press conference with Cody Garbrandt, who fights Pedro Munoz on the card March 2nd at T-Mobile Arena. Cody, I have to ask you before we do anything else about about your your, your getup, your your gear, your 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 duds. What's what's going on here? I got on. This is Mike Amiri here, and this is um, Rick Owens' pants and some Leah shoes. And I'm just trying to. Switch it up, um, get a little style, bring some uh, style here on uh, in Vegas, and definitely style inside the octagon on UFC 235. So I'm back. I was say we haven't seen you in a little bit, but I guess the style game is, is still going strong. Style game's in, it's good. You know, like I like to uh, like to feel good, fight good, you know, look good. So uh, it's uh, I got I got a stylist that helped me out, and you know, switch it up. You know, not always being suit and, and ties. You know, true or false? Your stylist is Ali Abdelaziz, your manager. <laughs> I would say that he. He jocks off my style, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. fighting so words. We went shopping. I got the shirt, and he was like, I wore it like a couple like months later, and we were like in LA or something. He's like, Hey man, he's like, I have that same shirt. I was like, looked at, it, I was like, Wait a minute, I bought this shirt with you the first time we went shopping, you know? So, yeah, I feel like he kind of steals off my swag. You called him out on that? Oh yeah, I called him out. He's got swag though. Look at him. <laughs> It's, it's been a bit since we, we've seen you, and, and you seem refreshed. You seem like you're ready to get back in there. There were some hard times, though, I, I imagine, after, after the TJ fight. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's, it's, see, this is, this is the sport that the people get to see us at our highest highs and lowest of lows, you know what I mean? But uh, I was able to, um, you know, I truly believe everything happens for a reason. You know, for whatever reason, it wasn't my day, you know, in August. Um, but it allowed me to refocus, regroup, Reheal my body, and I gotta watch my son grow. You know what I mean? So I was just literally in the gym, training, coming home, being a father, being a husband, and just refocusing on what my passion was. You know, and it's fighting. You know what I mean? I, I truly feel full, full and and healthy when I'm in the gym, grinding 24/7. Like the rinse do every day, like our coach Lee Kemp says. You know, so you go on there and with that work ethic working hard to get the goal, you know what I mean? So you reap the benefits. So um, the hard work pays off, just getting back to the grind, being healthy enough to be able to push day in, day out, you know, getting in there, getting to my breaking points, you know, inside the inside the gym, you know what I mean, and pushing past that. So callous in the mind, so when the fight gets rough, you can push through it. So uh, it's been great, man. Training's been great. I feel, you know, like this is my year, 2019, you know what I mean? It's I feel healthy and whole. You, I believe you deleted your social media for a brief period of time there. Was that just about getting rid of all, all the distractions and focusing on the family? Yeah, that was definitely that. You know, I did, took like a month or so off of, of social media. And it was nice, you know, I just, you know, you sometimes just on it, you know, in between training sessions, you know, buying some time, reading up, you know, watching <laughs> MMA interviews. And MMAfighting.com? MMAfighting.com, for sure. <laughs> uh, plug. But, uh, yeah, definitely. So, I mean, it was, it was nice just kind of like just have that time of, you know, for me, I felt like my life, a lot of things happened in my life, at a, you know, right away. And that's life sometimes, you know, you come and it, it knocks you down and, you know, keeps knocking you down. But, you know, I've been through a lot in my life, came over a lot of adversity. I was able to, you know, make a lot of things happen in my life. So I know that I was tested and, you know, it's just a test, man. It's, uh, you're going to always have those through life. So just about getting back to what I truly love and that's fighting is my passion and it's, I feel full, you know what I mean? Like I'm, I go to the gym a couple times a day, you know, and I come home and I put on a different hat, put on my father hat, and, and, and you know, play with my son and watch him grow. And it's just been amazing, man. Like he's just given me so much joy in my life, you know what I mean? Even through like you call it my darker times, you know. Um, I wasn't able to really like focus on a lot of my like personal demons and battles you know, everyone you know goes through. Um, I was just focused on, you know, getting healthy and getting back and to defending the title. But honestly, um, life is much more important than being a world champion. You know what I mean? I want to have all my ducks in a row. And being able to balance that uh, lifestyle as being a father and a fighter has been just just amazing. Like I'm, I'm like so excited. Like I go on practice every day and just excited to be there, you know, filled with gratitude every day. Last thing I want to ask you about, man, um, there was a, a big fight between Dillashaw and Cejudo at, at Flyweight, which could possibly have implications for your division as well. How, what did you think of that, that fight and how it went? It was, it was pretty brief. Did you think the stoppage was good? What were your thoughts? I called that. I, I told that. I said, uh, hey, you know, you can quote your eye on this. I uh, told him, oh, he's going to get knocked out. I'm telling you, he's going he's to knock him out. And he even looked at me. He's like, I don't know. I'm like, man, I'm telling you, TJ gets hurt in a lot of fights, 10 more pounds down. And I saw him at weigh-ins, I saw him pretty sucked up, and I looked at Henry, Henry looked full, you know what I mean? He's at 25, he looked sucked down, but he looked strong, you know what I mean? 
Um, and then watching the fight, right after he came out, he hit him with that head kick, kind of hurt him, and they shoved him down. And I was like, oh, he's hurt. You know, he's hurt. And then his head was round and round. It was a good stoppage. I mean, that, that's 30 seconds. He took, you know, 20 some unanswered shots. You know, I don't care if you were there in your mind, but you have Olympic level wrestler on your back punching you. You know, it was only the time before he probably settled in, settled down with, you know, trying to hit him with all those punches and it would have landed, you know, some big powerful shots. So I think it was a great stoppage, but, you know, TJ has to say that to himself to reclaim, uh, you know, for him to get a rematch, which is fine. Come, come up to 35 then, you know what I mean? But, like, hats off to TJ going down to 25 and, you know, trying to present the opportunity to become a champ champ. Now Henry's time. You know, Henry's turn to you know, come up to 35. That's, I think that's the next thing that you should do. Um, for me, I'm just focused on myself, getting back up, climbing whoever's, whoever adversary I face and just getting back to the title. Thanks, Cody. Good luck. Appreciate it, man.